Well, I'm back at it again. I got a single penny box here, and I'm gonna see how well this does on this hunt. Um, it'd be nice to only do one box hunt, but I'm pretty sure need to move on to do two boxes as normal. But penny boxes have been pretty good the past few times I've had them. So let's see. We got a mix of everything in here. Got some motor designs there. As you see some copper on top, but definitely some brand newer designs. Probably going to be a two box hunt, but wanted to crack into it. See what we get out of this and uh, definitely bring it in when I find something. I've opened up 12 rolls, I think. I want to say four of the rolls were pretty much uncirculated rolls. Anyhow, I looked at those just to make sure there was nothing in there. Um, basically, the varieties, the 92s, the 99s, 98s, 2000s, 84, so on and so forth. I'm going to look through these later on or at the end of the video, possibly if we don't have too terribly many variety finds through there. This right here is 1976, 1975. So it looks like, and there's a few on top of these rolls in here, if I can get it. Pretty nice little 1976s. And it's probably a dump from, like I said, the 75s and 76s that are in here. So we'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and stack them on up there and see how many we get to know if it's a full roll or <clears throat> If it was just by coincidence, uh, this 93 here, got a lot of grain work going on there, right? Not for sure what that is on there. It's a little bit on the backside too. It's over there by the United. It's like just bubbled. Kind of interesting. Might keep it, might not. Look through this cup a little later at it, but the last roll that I'd opened up, that 12th roll, um, it had three wheat cents in it. So the first wheat cent I actually got in roll two, that's gonna be a 46 Philly. And it only shows it as a red attribute in the variety page there. It's probably red. Looks a lot more basic brown copper, but anyways. Got another 48. There's going to be another Philly. There's a 42. Another Philly. And then this is a 53. A little corrosion on it. 53D. Yeah, D on there. Oh, no, my, my bad. 57D. Noise. And then this one here I pulled aside. This is going to be a 59D. It's a possible blazer at one point, but it's been in circulation a little while, but probably going to keep that. Anyhow, I just wanted to bring you in to show you a little uh, update of what I've got so far. 23 rolls in, so bring you back in just to do another little update. So I'm um, still collecting a lot of varieties. These are actually all the 69D and S's. So definitely going to have to take a look through those. Actually, I'm probably going to go ahead and look through these right now so I can get them out of the way because... I'm not even halfway through the box and I've got all this right here to look for. So definitely going to look through everything here. I've got a lot of 1994s. I want to look for the, I think it's the DDR on the back of it. Um, like I say, a lot of 92s I want to look for and so forth and so on. Um, I did get three more Wheaties there. That's going to be a 36D. That's going to be a 38 Philly and then a 56 Denver. And quite surprised I got a couple 30s out of there. Not completely tore up, but definitely has the uh, good feathers on the back. Let's look at this 38 real quick. Decent condition. Oh, got a rim dinger. And may have, actually, that is actually a lamination error straight through the middle of that, up to the top feather, all the way down to the S there. Let me go ahead and look at this real quick through the scope. Might have to get it out anyways, look through all these other coins. Let's see what we got. That's exactly what that is. Wow. I can't remember what they call that when it strikes all the way through the coin. 
and even left a little bit of extra metal on right by the E there, but yeah, that's kind of wild. That's all the way through. Hmm. Awesome. Well, that's definitely a keeper. If it wasn't already, man, be a lamination there. Anyhow, um, over to the Canadian. Beautiful Canadian. Looks like it's proof, actually. It actually is 1995 proof. Beautiful. Um, also, I pulled, this one had a really cool tone to it. It's like a deeper reddish, like a deep red color. It's not like it's satin, like a deeper satin almost. Hard to tell. Definitely keeper. Definitely going to be for the tone book. Anyways, uh, just letting you know, I'm going to go ahead and look through these and I will bring you back in if I have anything significant. If not, I'm going to keep hammering away at the box. I guess I didn't see, and I'm actually on the next roll, but the 14th roll, I'll say the 14th roll to be the what, 36th roll, had a wheat sand ender. So definitely never going to go to wheat sand out of here. But check to see what it is, but just bring you in for an update. Uh, varieties. This is actually all the 74s. They're pretty much blazers. 75s. And then the 76s start here and work up. And there's actually one 77, but <clears throat> that's probably just out of random. But I'm pretty sure there's been 76, 75, 74 rolls that were open and dumped in here. Uh, basically, just got the same wheat since from earlier and in 1935. It's pretty nice to get it too. Anyhow. Go ahead and open this up and see what we get and keep moving along or bring you in here shortly for another update. Now I pulled out the sixth roll here and it was a wheat scent ender also on there. So that's gonna be 44 Philly looks like. So that was two wheat scent enders. So the first ender was a 54S. I don't get a whole lot of 54S wheat scents. So that's 54S, and then the roll after that, I pulled a 39 Philly. Noise. That's definitely gonna be three more on the board with that one there. All right, let's keep moving along. Three rolls left to go. Now up in three rolls up, the first roll that had the wheat scent ender, that was that 44 Philly. And in the same roll, it had a 47 Denver came out behind it. The next roll had a 50S. And then that third roll popped out a Canadian. I want to say this is a 73. Yeah, 73 one cent. Nice. Uh, added, and as you see, a lot more. That's all the 76s in these two rows, 75s, and then the 74s, which are actually stacking up. So a lot of blazers, a lot of, like I say, I'm pretty sure it's three full rolls. It might not all be in this box. It's probably in the next couple of boxes combined, but definitely somebody opened those up and uh, plopped those in there. These are all going to be the 69 DS, and I think I got one 1969 there. That's the only one in the whole box so far. But I uh, also stacked the 2009 coins up here also. I need to look at these fillies to see if he has that extra finger that wraps around the book there. So I will check that at the end once I open these three rolls. That's all the rolls. So I'm gonna go ahead and look through the varieties here, the variety dates, basically the 92s. Like I mentioned, those will have the 92, will have the close A and M on the back um the 98 99 2000 that will have the wide am on there uh the double ears 83 1983 1984 i've seen them in 80, 83 before and then 84 also and then i'll check the 69d for the floating roof and the no fg and then the 1969s to see if it has any doubling on the front there's basically all the 74s, 75s, and 76s that I scoot the wheats over to put, start stacking the 76s past because they had so many of them. <clears throat> Anyways, let me jump into these and see if we got any varieties going on. Now, I'll bring you back in. So, I've got them sorted out. So, I have two here. This is that 1969 
doesn't have a so it's gonna be a Philly, doesn't have a mint mark there. And usually the 1969D will have the floating roof. So you see there's no bar there. There's no bar there. And then it will have a no FG. I looked under the scope. I even set this up at an angle. And I moved it around multiple times to see if I could see it. I even put a flashlight on it to see if there's any different angle. I can't see an FG on this one. I mean, it looks like it's a little crunchy maybe. There's some bubbles and stuff like that. Like a lot of these bubbles that are on there that are seen there, but I can't see anything for an FG, which is quite wild to have a 69 floating roof, no FG. That's definitely a cool find. So I have that one there. Now this is gonna be 94. So 1994, no mint mark. So basically Philadelphia, you'll have a DDO that's gonna be on the back. Now the DDO declares that it's gonna be on the FG and I'm not really seeing anything doubling on the FG. And it'll also show that it has like an extra pillar on the side here that's going up and down. But what looks to me is that you see some of the building here at the bottom is a little doubled. It's probably just machine doubling. I mean, pretty much I was gonna call it. So the C, the I, the R, you can see some on the A, you can see some on the M there. If you scroll back down here to the N and T, the N and T have it. Just some additional there, so definitely gonna be machine doubling, but I'm gonna definitely hold on to it for purposes later on, maybe for video or for my own extent. And, uh, but anyhow, it's pretty cool to find that 69. So here we've got the wheat cents. Now these are gonna be the 50s, 40s, and the 30s. Uh, we did get a 35, 36D, a 38, and a 39P. And like I say, a bunch, bunch of 40s. Yeah, little man. One sec. Couple of Canadians. Got that nice little uh, toner there that I'm going to keep. Like I said, it's got like a blood red or like a maroonish blood red color to it. Even the rim of it's that way too. And these will be the three 2009 cents that I'm going to keep. Um, usually the 2009P. If you look on the back there, he's holding the book. And he'll have an extra finger on that left hand. I'd be holding on to the book there. Didn't see it on there, but you don't see a whole lot of these in the box. So I was definitely gonna keep that. So I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up in one box hunt. That was quite a few varieties for two separate sets of searching and have all of these blazers here that I'm gonna check through and see if there's anything. And I'm gonna keep one of them, flip one a piece of them up. And then I'm definitely gonna keep all the wheat scents, put these in the flip and then add this to my foreign sets and so forth so on. Anyway, just want to bring you and let you know what I have for this one box hunt. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And uh, next hunt is going to be quite a few half dollars coming in. So anyhow, y'all have a great day and y'all have a great Thanksgiving.